This is lesson 26, which is VHDL example 13. In this example, we'll design the same seven segment decoder we did in the last lesson, except in this case, we'll use a case statement. Here's the truth table that we derived for the seven segment decoder, hex seven seg. And remember, in the last lesson, we made Carnot maps for each of these A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now that was sort of complicated and a mess, and I've told you that normally we don't write logic equations in VHDL to solve logic equations. What we do is we write the behavior, and the case statement is an easy way to describe the behavior of this truth table. We can basically just write the truth table in a big case statement. So let's see how we'll do it. Here's the same entity we had before. X is the 4-bit input. A to G is the 6-bit output. And in the architecture, we'll just write this big case statement. So it'll be in a process. You remember, case statements have to be in a process. So process X, that's the 4-bit in input. Case X is, well, when X is 0, 0, 0, 0, that is, we want to draw 0, we'll just turn off G. So this is the bit pattern for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, straight from the truth table. When 1, 2, 3, all the way up to F. Well, instead of putting F, we just put when others. Remember, case statements have to include a when others. So we just use that to take the case of F. So here's 8, where we turn all the segments off, you see. So this is very easy, much easier to make a case statement than to derive all of the Carnot maps that we did in the last lesson. So this is the normally the way we'll do it. Now, it, there's an alternate way. You remember in uh, the previous one, let's go back and look, here we wrote x as 0, 0, 0, 0. It was the string, the 4-bit string. We actually wrote out the 4 bits, double quote, 0, 0, 1, 0. We could also do it a different way. Here's the same entity. But now we can just write the hex values 0 to f, or e in this case, plus others. And the way you write hex values in VHDL is with this capital X. So x double quote 2 would be hex 2. x double quote 9 is hex 9. x double quote e is the hex e. These are all the same, so this is just another way of writing the case statement for a seven-segment decoder. Now let's try this out. I'll have you download this to the board and let's see if it works. So we'll use the four rightmost switches for X. So we're going to use these four switches where you can set 0 to F. We want to see if we get 0 to F showing up on the seven-segment display. Well, the question is which seven-segment displays are going to show up on. Well, it turns out that this A to G is in the UCF file. So these are the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But the A through G is the same for all of these four segments. That is, they're all wired together. So when you turn on A, you would turn on the A in principle for all four. However, you can select which segment you want to display. There's another input, AN which enables a particular segment. And you enable it by bringing AN to 0. So AN3 down to 0 will enable segments 3, 2, 1, and 0 by bringing them to 0. If, if the corresponding AN is a 1, then it will disable it and that won't be that segment that seven segment display won't be displayed. There's also an input called DP for decimal point. So to turn on the decimal point, you make DP 0. And to turn it off, you'd make it a 1. So to try it, let's run this program then. Here's the component for hex 7 seg with the x input and a to g output. We'll set a n to all 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This means we'll turn on all digits. We'll turn off the decimal point by making DP1. And then we'll just port map hex 7 seg. So the x 
in hex 7 SEG will connect to the switches, 3 down to 0, remember. And the A to G, this A to G, will connect to the output A to G of our top-level design. So if you compile this program and run it, then when you change the four switches from 0 to F, you should display 0 to F on all four segments. Now you might wonder uh, how you can turn off segments. Well, I've told you, you could play around with this AN, make some of these uh, 1, and you'll turn off those segments, and the rest of the segments will display whatever the switches are set to. Now you might wonder how you could display different uh, digits on the four segments. Suppose you want to display 1, 2, 3, 4, for example. Well, we'll answer that question in the next lesson.